find out whether she can back up her two-year-old preparation for the three-year-old debut. It's a big ask to not head to three-year-old company first start into your three-year-old year, but the boy's obviously being very confident about what she's got to offer for the spring ahead. So I don't know about you, but I am reading into something there. Sans Duke will be flashing home late and golden boom right there on pace. Okay, nearly all set. Here's Adam O for the eighth at the Valley. Three-year-old filly, lightweight chance. And fairly close now. Over the 1,000. Lights blinking away, the gates spring open, and they're away. Acromantula, Sons do they missed the start. Morning and Glory came out quickly, but eases back to fourth. And it's Golden Boom who goes through the field to lead Scuderia, and Bold Bastille slides in to third. A length and a half to Shershoff. And then comes Mornington Glory trying to slot in. Acromantula picks up back on the fence. Ashford Street second last. Sons Duda's last. Through the gap they go. 600 to travel. And it's the Queenslander Golden Boom by a half length. Bold Bastille gets to second. Scuderia is third. Shershoff. Then comes Morning and Glory starting to get into the race now. Acromantula buried back on the running rail. And then Ashford Street circling. Sons Duda still back last as they come around the corner. Golden Boom by over a length. Bold Bastille slides. Slowly wearing it down, and here's Mornington Glory starting to let rip down the middle. It's Golden Boom with Mornington Glory. Sons Dutes late on the scene. Golden Boom, Mornington Glory's now coming and lifting. It will get it. Mornington Glory won it by a head on Golden Boom. Sons Dutes third. Acromantula made ground along the fence. Oh, by Scuderi. Oh, that was a big rattling home win for Mornington Glory. Money came and uh, good steer there to be able to settle back by Ethan Brown and just wait for them all in front to get tied. Tell you what, Golden Boom, so brave, oh so brave, up on speed, has just been pipped, and Sands do, did exactly what we expected her to do, rattle home for third. But uh, Ethan Brown has judged that perfectly in a good training performance by Gavin Bedgegood. This horse is flying, this preparation. I think they all wanted to be where Golden Boom was, apart from, of course, uh, Mornington Glory and Sandstoot, who like to just sit off that really hot, frantic tempo. Uh, I thought that it was a good performance, as you mentioned, not only from Mornington Glory, but also from Gavin Bedgegood, who's been able to really pull this horse uh, into form over a couple of preparations. Now, a great run last time out at the Valley over the 1,000 metres. He's got the fitness on his side. Golden Boom, I think, is going to continue racing consistently. And, of course, Sans Duke, she's gone to another level through her previous preparations and how it has returned really well. Do we think that Bold Bastille